Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and bringing to episodes 8 and 9 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. This is the fight between Cotton and Rin, right? Oh, she has flowers and tulips. Oh, pretty. Is this how the art? <laughs> I don't remember this episode, but oh, okay. It happens. It happens once again. Like I said last week, sometimes you cannot have your certain, you, you know, your friends that you hang out with at school or on the regular versus like your coworker friends. You can't mix them together because sometimes it's not good. No, not everybody's going to work together. You have to just make it work. If some girl don't, or boy don't like an another person, you know, he'd be like, hey, all right, you know, next time when we hang out, I'm not inviting you. Don't be mad if I, if I don't invite you. Be like, it's just you don't like them and they don't like you and I don't want to cause any drama. <laughs> like, oh, mm. it happens. That's life. No matter what, there's going to be drama everywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's the drama of magical girls. I mean, but hold on. Look at Ray and Yusagi. Like, they argued, like, how many times in Sailor Moon? And, and not Crystal. We don't talk about Crystal. Even though Sailor Moon Eternal is finally coming to Netflix. Thank God we can finally watch that movie. I've been waiting for that forever. But yeah, those two argued a lot. And look at them. And the other two bought flowers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can't be mean all the time. Oh, God. Yeah, let's just all agree to disagree. Have them together. The shade, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, stop it. <laughs> I love 
her. She's supposed to, she is the honey senpai of this group. She's like, hmm, let's solve it like this. <laughs> Oh my god, seriously? Uh -uh. You guys are worse than like almost any other girls that have like fought, like oh my god. Excuse me, god damn it, I hate when that happens. Which is, you're wearing a mask. But Rin, I mean, the smart thing is for you two to f make up, apologize, and move on. She's using that as an example. because of the flower thing and the fact is they're they're similar but then at the same time they just have different tastes no both of you are honestly really the stubborn one My God, cutting. <laughs>
Uh-uh. You guys are gonna get fat. <laughs> Honestly, it is. Yeah, I mean, maybe you five should just spend more time together. I mean, you kind of have, but not as much as you can say that you go, you guys are like the best of friends. That's why I said what I said. Some personalities just don't mix with each other. Really, the thing that's going to make possibly make them, like, reconnect and be happy, happy-ish like that is these three being in trouble and the fact that they're going to be the only two to be able to save them. Come on now. Very obvious. <laughs> that just makes me hungry. Mm. What time did I eat that pie? It's only like 7 o'clock. 4? 5? Of course that was a trap. Mm -hmm. See? See? And there they go. Well, at least you agree on that.
maybe go straight instead. This isn't about who's better, guys. Oh my god. Like, seriously, for five minutes! You know what I do like about these transformations? So, uh, uh, I can't speak. Versus, like, the newer ones, I mean, the hair transformation on, like, older versions is very subtle. While newer transformations, it's just in your face. Like, look at it. Look how pretty it is. Like, ugh. <laughs> Like, anytime when Rin transforms, just that little, like, slight bits of touch, you just go from, like, here's a red to an even brighter red. It's so pretty. Oh my, see, once again, y'all are arguing, but there's no time. Well, at least you agree on that. Exactly, but that's okay. You're friends, and you know, friends are gonna fight no matter what.
hell, I'm ready for, like, freaking, you know, Tropical Rouge to have a fight. See, okay, hold on. Nope. Let let let's talk about this. You know, way before getting into the cake, it was getting hit by the butterfly. No. So cute. No. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Which would be Yeah, that makes sense. Mm hmm. Yeah, it should be in the middle. But the middle! <sighs> but yeah, as I said, we should honestly really have an episode where either like... Because it, it needs to happen. I, as much as I love my Tropical Rouge girls, I, I need to see them in, like, one, one little fight. I mean, you know, in Star Trickle Pretty Cure, it was really annoying when... <sighs> Hikaru and Lala fought because, you know... <laughs> one of those girls in that series is my least favorite cure of all time because... Ugh! I just can't stand her. And I think if I ever rewatch that show and I hear her speak, I'm just going to get triggered. And I'm going to be like, mm, you want to hit her in the face and be like, yeah, I used to love you, but I can't stand you. Like, oh my God. But honestly, I really enjoyed the fights that they had. And it seems like we may get more possibly. It makes the most sense because like I said, their personalities are different. If you look at any of your friend groups that you have, whether it's three friends, four friends, five friends, six, whoever, whoever is in your close-knit group of friends that you're mainly either hanging out with every single day or every other day, there are going to be times where you're going to fight. I should know. That happened to me several times in the past without whoever I hung out with. Um... But it wasn't always me. I was not the one who started the drama. It, it was always that one person who wanted to start drama and be very annoying. Well, why isn't there an article about you? You know, because what I think it was like Healing Good or Star Twinkle had a moment where like somebody kind of discovered them and the next thing you know wanted to make articles in it. And I thought that was interesting. I mean, honestly, really, any season of Pretty Cure where people, regular old people, walking, you know, they dog, going to the store, or whatever, you know, <laughs> doing everyday normal things like always. Um, when there is a character that eventually, you know, finds out that, you know, the pretty here are pretty here and that, you know, magical girls and, like, ish exists and, and things like that, sometimes you may, it makes you wonder because I would love to see a season where it's, like, 
like something does like a whole bunch of research and like connects the dot to like all the way back to Futariwa. But I don't think that's gonna happen because each series is a particular like um oh my god, how do I like Okay, this is how I wanna say it, how I wanna word specifically. You can watch every season of Pretty Cure and they're the only connection that each season has to every other season is that the newest cure will always come in like the last episode that's it when we start a new season none of the other girls from any of the other seasons really get to connect up until the all-star movie and that's it after that we never see or hear from them again except when in um Hagato? yeah Hagato? It was either Hagato or... No, it wasn't healing good. It, it, it was Hagato. It was Hagato, yeah. Hagato when they had the crossover event. But still, even after that, never freaking talked about it again. Because I would love to see one season. You ain't gotta do it for Tropical Rouge. I'm okay with that. You can do it with, in, in the next, like, five years, okay? You can do that. <laughs> so, listen to <till> animation. <laughs> My thing is, I would love to see another episode or another movie specifically yes movie i would like to see a movie thank you very much where it, it's canon and then whoever is in that particular season so let's say you know two three years after tropical rouge um the girls of whatever season of pretty good that comes up talks about them hanging out with the girls of Tropical Rouge, the girls of Star Twinkle, the girls of Healing Good, the girls of Hakuto, the girls of Get a Get a Pretty Girl Mode, Maho Girls Pretty Gear, um, Go Princess Pretty Gear, Smile, all the way up to Fataniwa. That would have been really interesting. Still, I mean, like, how they could have did, like, oh my god, um, what is her name? I don't remember her name because she's she's like because I really would have loved to see more of her. It's the one blonde. It's the one girl from one of the Pretty Cure All Star movies who liked Pretty Cure a lot and wanted to be one. And by the end of the movie, she finally became one. I would have loved to see more of her. I get the fact is that she's only a movie only type character and she somewhat pops up in the media of Pretty Cure, but not all the time. But it still would be nice to see, like, you know, her story and meeting up with, like, someone else. But I get it. I know you don't got time for it, but you know it's all animation. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You got time. I mean, you know, technically, y'all, we don't even know if y'all are giving us, you know, the last series of Sailor Moon Crystal. So, you know, if you have time for Sailor Moon Crystal, you know, stars, you got time for this. That's all I really want to know. Like, please, just, just do it. Like, Thank you for finally putting, you know, Sailor Moon Eternal on Netflix, because your girl is really excited for that. But, like, please, for the love of God, I would love to just see uh, an all-star movie with everyone again. I understand that you can't do it because, you know, all the seiyus from Futariwa up until now are really, really big. Big, big paid seiyus, and you have to pay them a lot of freaking money just to come in and say one effing line but still you don't even have to have any of them say a line or do an attack you could go back in two and and we know that they have this because i feel like almost every anime studio has this even studios here in america when they make hollywood films have this ish they always have like a backup excuse me um specifically like when someone dies like i'm gonna use the hunger games for an example when philip seymour hoffman died between mocking jay parts one and two they had his brother come in um record the scenes and did like a cgi thing and then some audio things to match his voice to his brothers even though they looked very 100 percent similar and almost very um a very similar like speaking voice the shit that they did for paul rudd for freaking um fast and the furious y'all could do that Y'all could do that. Like, seriously. Y'all have audio clips of every single freaking Pretty Cure up until now. Y'all can make a freaking movie. All-star-ish, this, that, and the third. And just put them in there for one second. But if it's to the point where you need new lines, yeah, go ahead. Bring them all in. Just say, hey, I need you to say this and then get out. It would be so nice just to have it. I just, because ever since they, mm, God, ever since they did the series where it's like, okay, we're not going to have 
all-star movies anymore, but technically we're going to take, like, the last three seasons of every year, but, and put them in a movie together. Can I say those movies are good? I really don't know. I mean, the last, like, film I think I watched where it was, like, the current and then two other past seasons, I think was... I haven't seen the Star Twinkle Pretty Cure movie. Both. So the All-Star and their separate movie. No, I've seen the separate movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I made a reaction to it. Um. So I haven't seen Hugatoes. The last, no, the last one that I watched, I think, was Kira Kira. Yes? Yes. Mm-hmm. That was the last All-Star movie I watched. Mm-hmm. 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 That's it. After that, because that was the last movie with Go Princess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was, because that was the last time that my favorite all-star VA <laughs> was going to be a pretty cure until she was going to be busy again. But, like, seriously, not us. Like, please do it. But, yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode nine. Okay. Episode nine in three, two, one, go. Oh, it's about Udanda. But eventually, really, it's all of you, because I see Nozamine's picture. And I... Well, of course, but at the same time, you really shouldn't be happy about that. food oh I was thinking it was a guy, but you know, hey, mm, okay, it, you know, we support same sex. Mm hmm. Yes, we do. I ship it, but I ship Nosemean and Rin way much more. <laughs> I mean, because, like, with Nosemean and Rin, it just, I don't know, it's something about, like, the personalities, because they, they don't clash like, you know, Rin and Cotton did in the previous episode. It just, they're sweet to each other. They're, you know, just cute. That's all. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, you're like, oh, you're just so cute. They're like, you look at someone, whether it's like an anime couple or a real life couple and you look to your significant other guy, girl, whoever, and you're like, damn. That's what I want us to be. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it's nice, but, you know. Yeah. We're not going to talk about my love life. Because fuck my love life. No. 
Yeah, Nozamine is just Nozamine. Really? Seriously? Hmm? She's right. Better go to demoted. Oh, I mean, well, yeah, firing is better, but you know, a. Hey. We'll see. Five girl suspicious relationship. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate having cold hands. They feel good sometimes, but at the same time, uh. Just lie. See something like, oh, hey, you know, we all work together somewhere and that's how we became friends. Yeah, you know, co-worker things, you know. <laughs> oh god, it's about to get worse!
Oh shit. This is just giving me feels of that one episode of Magical Do Re Mi. They were here. Yeah, I mean, damn, you got a problem with it? Like, Jesus. Too damn nosy, like, oh my god. This is what happens when you are too nosy. Stop sticking your nose in people's business. How somebody is selling like a plush of nuts and I want it between him and Kuradun. Like, oh my god, it's so bad. Like, but they have like the nuts and the cocoa, and I think it's um either latte or fua in a bundle, and they want like a hundred dollars. And it's like, pfft. Child, you can't. Huh. Get nod in front of her. Of course the caramel would be the monster of the week. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, finally! They're putting them all together! Yay! I mean, honestly, in my opinion, it's better that way. Up, up until, like, you know, when you get into later seasons and you see really pretty, like, transformations and you want to see them again solo YOLO, but, you know, yeah, they ain't got time for that. Tola's like, mm, we can't do that for every episode. We have, you know, budget and budget cuts. We have to pay our voice actors and actresses and everything. Plus the crew. She would come out of the damn pillar like Jesus Christ. She can't stay there for five seconds. I understand she needs a story, but like, uh, mm. this like miraculous ladybug in a nutshell. Oh my God, this is just Marinette and Adrian. You know, they're like, oh my God. Cat Noir, you need to you need to go. You're gonna transform back into yourself and we can't know our superhero identities. Hit hit nudge nudge. I mean, you know, like, either Mint or Aqua could have went behind her and such. I mean, but okay. Okay, getting the butterfly, that's all. 
Even though it was the monster of the week and not the person who I really wanted it to be, but that's okay. He's right. anything so yeah not important though <laughs> oh god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, hot guy, hot girl, whatever, and that's it. <laughs> and we just forget, like, mm, what was I supposed to do today? <laughs> uh huh. See, that's why sometimes I cannot watch TikTok videos before I record anything because, like, Between, like, some really nice, good-looking guys and, you know, drawings of my anime men, your girl get distracted. The next thing you know, it'd be, like, later on in the day, and I'm like, I didn't do anything today. Why? Because I was distracted by hot anime men and hot guys in general, but, like, mm. Who is it? I mean, you know, hey. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about this episode. Can we just talk about his smirk, though? Like, oh, my God. Oh. child save my child save Sora from Kingdom Hearts please mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it'd be really funny 
this is this is gonna happen one day it is it, it really truly is there and when it does <laughs> there, there's gonna be an anime where the seiyus because it because it's funny to hear the seiyus of kingdom hearts characters really specifically when you play it in japanese even though your girl has not played it in japanese and your girl wants to play it in japanese um but hearing the seiyus of like sora roxas riku yes put those three in an anime together well technically you're very close to doing it they did it with like freaking riku and, and um and uh Roxas Hutchmentis and Haiku and you know y you did a damn good job on that just do it again but all three of them because you know and make them like really good hot guys because like hi your girl <laughs> but like honestly this was this episode I the fact is like you know the things that like journalists and like paparazzi everything else in between will do for an interview scoop uh an article is nuts like I, I thought you know i would see it all like especially with like um as someone who keeps up with pop culture and celebrity news and just like that or even like sometimes like youtuber news even though, like depending on the certain youtuber i don't really give crap about um people are crazy just you know for that you know anything just to get some money like mm, goddamn like oh the things that people will do and it seems like we're probably going to be seeing her a lot more i i mean because like okay compare her to maybe like any other character from like recent modern pretty cure series hell we can even talk about star not star twinkle uh tropical rouge um not the actress that came in last week's episode well, because by the time you guys see it, I don't even know. We'll be on, like, episode 10 or 11, I believe. Um, the episode where the four girls who all graduated who had the connection with the penguin. I w it would be so interesting to see those four again. Now, they can also do the actors from the recent Tropical Rouge um, Pretty Care episode just to bring her back for, like, some interesting thing. Like, let's say the movie did so well that they want to do a sequel with her and still film it at the school, la da 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 whatever. It would be very interesting, but honestly, really, who knows? But, I mean, I, I want to see more of the background characters. I think some of the background characters' storylines for, like, any season a pretty hair can be very interesting and some of them are really really good where it's like okay here's a part two to something like i think uh for a character who pfft, technically it's between the chick from go princess pretty care and akira's little sister from kita kita pretty crawl mode even though they weren't featured in almost like every single episode they got a good plot and storyline really more of the girl from go princess pretty care than um, Akari's sister. I felt like Akari's sister was mainly, if I can say, out of all the 40-something episodes that she was in, five, maybe, about her story, but I understand that, and, you know, how it would have been nice if we had an episode of when, you know, Akira's little sister just tries to do something to get, you know, mom and dad together again, and it's like that, you know, because we all know mom and dad are together forever, yes! But yeah, I mean, dead ass. I would love to see, you know, all any background characters specifically for this series. Um, and the more and more storylines. I think it's really interesting to just have characters who got a one off episode, but just to see them in the background or just to have like something with them again. But really, who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episodes eight and nine of yes pretty cure five if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 10 and 11 bye guys